Ladies and gentlemen of this great, formerly great country of America, I'm here. Just listen to my words. Don't worry about what you see. You don't need to worry about that. What you need to do is listen to the message I'm telling you. I'm here to give you all a challenge. It's called the Own It Challenge. What is it that we have failed to do as a people to defend our country, defend our freedoms, our rights, our liberties, everything that we hold so dear but yet take for granted? How many of you are willing to own up and take responsibility for what has unfolded here in this formerly great nation called America? I will start first. I came into the game a little bit too late. I thought that my vote mattered, realized it didn't. I didn't fight hard enough. I was too compliant. I got a little too comfortable with all this technology and everything, you know, being readily available at a moment's notice. I got all wrapped up in the wrong things and <clears throat> I didn't fight hard enough. I take responsibility for what has happened and I'm willing to accept whatever happens, whatever the fate of this country is. Because I have no choice but to accept my fate. I have no choice. I can't stop it. It should have been stopped years ago. Everything that has unfolded over the decades should not have happened. If we had fought as a collective and as a unified front. As we the people, as our forefathers have done. Black, white, don't matter the color it is. But unfortunately, as the decades and as the de-evolution of human beings and civilization... This is what we got. So now we just have to deal with it. Deal with the fallout. Deal with the consequences of our inactions. And that is why things are the way they are today. We have to deal with our inactions. So, whatever fairy tale it people can, you, you know, you can come up with just, just, I'm sorry. I, I, I stopped believing in fairy tales when I grew up. And that was over, and that was around, I would say, 12. I'm 40 now. And I stopped believing in fairy tales because I believe that fairy tales are nothing but pipe dreams. And these pipe dreams are not real. So all that stuff saying that, that things are going to get better. Eh, sorry. I don't see things getting better. And that's even with the television off. Even after I went ahead and took out my TV. Even after I took out the radio. But I look around and I see that things are going to get worse. And I'm not sure if it's even going to get better. I'm just keeping it a stack with you folks. Keeping it 100. So I'm just here just going through the last final stage of grief which is acceptance. Because that's all we can do. We didn't stop it. We didn't do a darn thing. We posted memes. We tried to warn our family and friends, but not enough people didn't listen. No one, not anyone, maybe just about one or two or maybe about ten or few of them came together. But the enemy always had was ten steps ahead of us. Why weren't we ten steps ahead of the enemy? And you know who they are. I don't have to tell you who they are. You see them when you turn on your television. You hear them when you turn on the radio. You see them at every left-wing mainstream social media outlet. Asking for likes and subscriptions. You see them all. They're everywhere. But the problem is we're too scared. That's what happened when we got comfortable. We got scared. We thought, oh, it's not, this is too big. This is too big. Who's going to help me? I need help. <sighs> this is too much for me. I have all this stuff to focus on. But that's okay. It's okay. 
because I was like that too. So I'm not mad. I'm just asking everyone to hold the, the you know, to own it. Be accountable. Hold yourself accountable like I am right now. Hold yourself accountable for the fall of this country. All you have to do, you can do this privately. Me, I'm willing to do it publicly because I ain't got nothing to lose and you won't, and you won't see my face ever. And besides, I'm not really dissing anybody. I'm just kind of speaking my mind. Well, I still can. So, I take responsibility for my inaction, for my complacency, and my compliance when the tyranny reared its ugly head last year. And it is now rearing its ugly head now. All I can do now is pray. And just look out for me. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. But me, myself, and I. And the good Lord and his son, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. God bless you, Godspeed, and God bless America. And forever may she reign. Sunrise of America, 1776, sunset, January 20th, 2021. I want you to remember that.